welcome back to another video guys today we're going to be going over the lapera tail whip seat that i have here on my 2024 low rider st i've had this seat on the bike for about two months right now we put a, a substantial amount of miles on it so that's the reason why i wanted to do the review now we did a review unboxing it showing to you guys going over all the details but what i want to do now is just go over the review factor of it i mean we've had it for over two months we put some good miles on it and i want to let you know how the seat fell on these long rides that i've been taking um, but just go over the seat real quick um, this was a custom made seat from La Para um, that i kind of i cooked up and shout out to my boy dante he kind of helped me put everything all together um so you're gonna see various materials on here and patterns so you're gonna have that alcantara right here in black look at that that just oof, that's of high quality right there you see that change I can tear it here. I can tear it for the passenger seat. Um, then you're going to have that distressed brown leather, which feels very, 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 very buttery. You're going to have that red and brown goldish stitching going across right here. Love the pattern. That goldish brown color here on the side with that Lapara logo looks awesome. Um, then you're going to have that basket weave material on the side panel right here, which looks pretty awesome uh more of that distressed leather in the back and brown then with the mk87 badging on the back which i think looks great a lot of stuff going on i know it's wild it might not be for you but i wanted a seat that was gonna pop out be wild be just its own thing on the bike i mean the bike already has a lot going on but i, I mean i like to make myself stand out man and i like to be different but yeah let's uh let's get on the bike and let's talk about the seat how many miles do we have in the bike now? 4,200. 4,289 miles. I'm actually heading over to uh, Bergen and Harley Davis right now because I want to get this front tire checked out. It's been leaking air for the longest time. I can fill it up and if the bike is not in use for a few days, I'll go check and it'll be on 17. So yeah. We, we definitely gotta check that out. But anyways, let's talk about this Lapera custom seat that I have on this bike right here. Like I was saying before, I've had the seat on the bike for about two months right now. Um, we put a good amount of miles. So within these miles, I've taken two long trips. The first trip was to Laconia Bike Week in New Hampshire. So from New Jersey to New Hampshire, that was a 300 mile trip, which was around like five and a half hours, six hours around there uh great ride i had the seat for that ride um that was basically my breaking period because i recently just got the seat right before that so i did have some seat time on the bike did a few uh few rides but that was basically the break-in period for the seat it did well i didn't find it that the seat was hard or it needed to really be broken in it, it felt comfortable now is there a little breaking period of course only a little breaking period um but it's nothing like you feel on other seats where you got to put x amount of miles or for them to even start softening up it felt good right out the box now new hampshire was 300 miles to go 300 miles to come back but we also did quite a few miles up around that area as well so we got a lot of miles on that seat fast forward a month later in july we took a ride out from new jersey all the way out to wisconsin for harley davidson's homecoming which was amazing and if you missed out this year i highly suggest you guys to really look into going next year it's a ton of stuff going out there concerts are awesome you got the harley davidson museum you got the factories where you can visit and see what goes on how they put everything together uh, a ton of riding you could do around and it's, it's just a good time man a really really good time my second time second year in a row going to homecoming and i liked it this year better than last year um so that trip from new jersey to wisconsin is roughly around 900 ish miles to go and then same miles to come back plus a little bit of the riding that we did over there so you're looking at almost a 2000 mile trip that i took on this bike on this seat and once again i I have no complaints. The seat felt great, um, even especially for that ride, man. Uh, I kind of broke up that ride in two days just because I just don't want to burn myself out. Um, 
and the sea felt great. Now lately I've been suffering a lot from lower back pain. I didn't feel like it was killing my back or anything. I mean, yes, it's a long ride. So are you gonna feel cramped up? Yes, especially in this bike because of the ergonomics, the way you you, uh, you sit on the bike or in the bike, you can say. Um, you definitely feel more of a bit of cramped up. Even with that, the seat felt pretty comfortable. Now, depending on the materials you use on your custom seat, or if you just want to just get a leather seat, whatever. Um, but the Alcantara feels great on here. Um, as far as grip, I mean, I, I mean, it feels fine. I feel like I'm in place. The tail whip is awesome, man. The tail whip, it keeps you in place. It keeps you locked in, especially at those high speeds. Uh, when you're really cranking it and the bike, the seat really keeps you locked in and in place. Really love that about it. Now I know you're wondering, well, you have Alcantara on there. Are you allowed to get that wet? Did you get it wet? Uh, I mean, technically you're not supposed to get it wet, but yeah, I mean, I got caught in the rain riding out there and then I got swamped in the rain riding back again. Um, any issues with the seat? No, it, it looks the same still. And I'm telling you this bike, got drenched it got drenched um so yeah i mean it, it it felt fine and it still looks great now if you want to go with a lapera seat and you don't want to tail whip they also do have all their offerings they have the kickflip which i had on my low rider s before another great seat i'm a huge fan of the tail whip because of the design and the way it just whips back in the back i had the tail whip on my road glide another custom seat and that seat was awesome every seat i've had on my bike has been mostly lapera had a saddle man on the lowrider as well and i had a lucky daves on the on the road glide i i absolutely hated that seat it, it was horrible the saddle man was good but the saddle man i really needed to really 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 break that seat in where this seat i didn't find myself doing that what else can we say? Comfort wise, it's awesome. Looks wise, it's great. Like I said, this is a fully custom seat. If you wanna get yourself a custom seat, then you have the option to do that. If you just wanna get something regular, you also have the option to do that. They have different designs. Um, and Lapera just speaks for its name, man. They've been around for such a long time. Always of high quality, always giving you the best stuff. There's nothing more that I can say. So, do I recommend this seat? Hell yeah. Was it comfortable for the long roads? Hell yeah, does it look awesome? Hell yeah. And that's it, man. Um, I hope this video was helpful. If you are in the market to get yourself a LaPera C or anything else, uh, yeah, I would highly recommend it, man. Stand out, out of the pack, and be different. That's gonna be it, guys. I am gonna see you in the next one. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. That's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And like always, guys, let the force be with you. Ride safe. And enjoy the ride, baby. Peace! I gotta give you guys the peace. Peace. Ugh, Bergen Harley Davidson. Let's see what's wrong with this damn tire. Uh, I guess I'll do a video just for that. Let you guys know exactly what's going on. Because it shouldn't be losing so much air like that.